Zeal Education Society, redefining excellence. Hello friends, myself Nikhil Ranuse, student of Zeal Polytechnic from second year of Electrical Department. I am here to give you a quick presentation of subject Environmental Studies, which is EST. The topic of our presentation is to prepare a report on RO power plant, which has been guided by Professor Jyotsana Shahani. At the bottom, there are names of our group members. First one is Nikhil Gorakshna Renuse. Second, Anand Sunender Pratap Bharti. And the third, Pratik Pravin Tambikar. Next is Content Outline, in which First one, Introduction to Inverse Osmosis, which is RO. Second, History of Reverse Osmosis. Third, Fresh Water Applications. Fourth, Water and Waste Water Purifications. Fifth, Desalination. Sixth, Pretreatment. Seven, and the last one is Disadvantages. Next slide is about Introduction to Reverse Osmosis. Reverse osmosis is a water purification process that uses a partially permeable membrane to separate ions, unwanted molecules and larger particles from drinking water. In reverse osmosis, an applied pressure is used to overcome osmotic pressure, a colligative property that is driven by chemical potential differences of the solvent. A thermodynamic parameter, reverse osmosis can remove many types of dissolved and suspended chemical species as well as biological ones from water and is used in both industrial processes and the production of potable water. Next is history of reverse osmosis. A process of osmosis through semi-permeable membranes was first observed in 1748 by Jean Antonio Nollet. For the following 200 years, osmosis was only a phenomenon observed in the laboratory. In 1950s, the University of California at Los Angeles first investigated desalination of seawater using semi-permeable membranes. Researchers from both University of California at Los Angeles and the University of Florida successfully produced fresh water from seawater in the mid-1950s. Next is application of fresh water, in which first is drinking water purifications. Around the world, household drinking water purification systems, including a reverse osmosis tape, are commonly used for improving water for drinking and cooking. Second is decentralized use, in which solar power reverse osmosis. A solar power desalination unit produces potable water from saline water by using a photovoltaic system that converts solar power into the required energy for reverse osmosis. Due to extensive availability of sunlight across different geographies, solar power reverse osmosis lends itself well to drinking water purification in remote settings lacking an electricity grid. Moreover, solar energy overcomes the usually high energy operating cost as well as greenhouse emissions of conventional reverse osmosis systems, making it a sustainable freshwater solution compatible to developing contexts. For example, a solar power desalination unit designed for remote communities has been successfully tested in the Northern Territory of Australia. In the application of freshwater, the third point is of military use, the reverse osmosis water purification unit. A reverse osmosis water purification unit that is ROWPU is a portable self-contained water treatment plant designed for military use. It can provide portable water from nearly any water source. There are many models in use by the United States Armed Forces and the Canadian Forces. Some models are containerized, some are trailers and some are vehicles unto themselves. After the point of application of fresh water, there is water and waste water purifications. Rainwater collects from storm drains is purified with reverse osmosis water processors and used for landscape irrigation and industrial cooling in Los Angeles and other cities as a solution to the problem of water shortages. 
in industry river osmosis removes minerals from boiler water at power plants the water is distilled multiple times it must be as pure as possible so it does not leave deposit on the machinery or cause corrosion the deposits inside or outside the boiler tubes may result in underperformance of the boiler reducing its efficiency and resulting in poor steam production hence poor power production at the turbine next is desalination areas that have either no or limited surface water or ground water may choose to desalinate reverse osmosis is an increasingly common method of desalination because of its relatively low energy consumption next is pre treatment pre treatment is important when working with reverse osmosis and nano filtration membranes due to nature of their spiral wound design the material is engineer in such a fashion to allow only one way flow through the system as such the spiral wound design does not allow for back pulsing with water or air agitation to score its surface and remove solid since accumulated material cannot be removed from the membrane surface system they are highly susceptible to flowing is a necessity for any reverse osmosis or nano filtration system the last but not the least slide is of disadvantages household reverse osmosis units use a lot of water because they have low back pressure as a result they recover only 5 to 15% of the water entering the system the remainder is discharged as waste water because waste water carries with it the rejected contaminant methods to recover this water are not practical for household systems waste water is typically connected to the house drains and will add to the load on the household septic system a reverse osmosis unit delivering 19 liters of treated water per day may discharge between 75 and 340 liters of waste water daily this has a disastrous consequence for mega cities like delhi where large scale use of household ro devices has increased the total water demand of the already water purchased national capital tertiary of india hope you like our presentation thank you so much zeal education society redefining excellence